Russia is the EU's largest single supplier of gas, much of which flows through the Ukraine. A row between Kiev and Moscow choked off EU gas supplies in 2009, and many Europeans are wondering whether the current crisis will also hit closer to home when it comes to energy. Jack Barton has this report from Brussels. As Ukraine continues to brace itself for sharp increases in the price of Russian gas or even gas cuts, Europe is also calculating how badly the current crisis could hit its own energy supplies. Europe in total consumes about 450 billion cubic meters of gas per year. And um, two thirds of these are imported from third countries. Um, and one third of those two thirds are from Russia. That adds up to about a quarter of Europe's gas coming from Russia. It feeds the power stations that keep the lights on and still warms a continent hooked on central heating from gas. About half of the EU's Russian gas supplies run through Ukraine. And in 2009, when the Kremlin cut gas during a row with Kiev, it caused havoc in Western Europe. But that was during a very harsh winter, while the winter just passed was particularly mild. The stocks are fairly well stocked. Uh, we are going now towards uh, summer, so we're not talking about an immediate crisis. Analysts warn contingency plans should still be drawn up. There are options for Europe, um, but it would take time and there has to be a decision very quickly of whether Europe needs to react to the crisis in the Ukraine and Russia. Shutting off the valves would also hurt Russia. The country's energy giant Gazprom already saw massive market losses on Monday due to the tensions over Ukraine. Yeah, Gazprom lost uh, more money than the German airline Lufthansa is worth in total. So these are considerable amounts of money that um, Russia will not be able to, to, um, you know, to take for a sustained period of time. European Union energy ministers echoed those sentiments on Tuesday, saying that despite the crisis, Brussels and Moscow had agreed there was too much to lose for both by a major disruption to Ukraine's gas pipelines. Jack Barton, CCTV, Brussels.